Hello everyone, and welcome back to the next episode of Star Trek Adventures Nighthawk, where we are picking up directly from last week's episode, where the crew is attempting to... What was the phrase I used? Oh yes, uh, forcefully abscond with a Tholian uh, crime boss who has implanted himself within the Orion Syndicate. Because what could possibly go wrong? Aside from everything, let's find out, shall we? Uh, so, uh, it is about <laughs> maybe an hour or so after you have checked out your new digs. Dr. Soong, or Bartender Soong, has given you access to one of the suites. It is a f nice, luxurious suite. Alas, there's only enough uh, room in the bed for three people to sit or to lie on. Uh, the bathtub is extremely expansive. And it has a nice view of the back side of an adjacent apartment unit. So not the best view. Other than that, it's perfectly serviceable. Well, me and Tishran are easily used to having four in a bed, so... Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, God. Um, anyway. <laughs> it's I an won't... Andorian thing. You wouldn't understand. <laughs> I won't go down that line of questioning at the moment, but I am curious about other things. Mr. Thushan, not that I don't trust our dear friend bartender soon, but can you make can you scan this room again once over to make sure there's no listening devices or wiretaps or anything of the sort? He, I mean, he has been very accommodating, and I'm not, I, I want to make sure we're not being taken advantage of. Of course, paranoid... Um... It's not, not a bad idea when you're in hostile territory. Okay, so this so is... You have a focus in that, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is going to be an insight... Uh, let's see. Either insight engineering or insight security. And Mr. Helsing can assist with this if he'd like. Uh, this is going to be a difficulty of three. Uh, does, does hazard awareness count for finding... No, not unless they were okay. clearly labeled with, you know, radiation warning sig uh, symbols. All right, fair enough. <clears throat> covert uh, ops. I'd let covert ops work, yes. I'll, I'll throw one momentum at it. Okay. Well, that's two from Helsing. And that is three from uh, the Shran. So five successes. Oh. Uh, so that okay. you get two momentum right back. What you find is quite the opposite, actually. Instead of signal monitoring uh, devices, uh, hidden cameras, sneaky um, uh, wireless access jumpings or jumper signals, jumper devices, that sort of thing, uh, you actually find a that the walls are made of a material that actually prevents individuals from either scanning out or scanning in. Uh, the whole room is pretty much like a Faraday cage. Uh, oh, that's handy. <laughs> well, Captain, this place is as secure as can be. As secure as... Well, I was going to bring it to you a personal anecdote, but you know, maybe I'll save it for another time. <laughs> okay, crew. What's our plan? Commander Helsing? Well, we don't know... We kind of know where the Tholene is. We still have to figure out exactly how to separate him from his bodyguard... What do they call him? The Jack. Hulk? Jack. Um, separate him from him or take them both together or somehow because and then our exfiltration if we try to use the the nighthawk with our transporters it's gonna be difficult because of the entire shield around this continent i have heard of an excellent uh, distraction technique called the mariachi band if anyone was interested i think i've seen something on that before Conveniently enough, I, I have all the equipment um, ready to go at any time. 
So can you fit a phaser type three rifle in a guitar case? Just watch me. I have dibs on that really big guitar. I wouldn't have it any other way, Commander. <laughs> Uh, Lieutenant, I haven't heard a lot from you. Suggestions, comments? No, sir. <laughs> um... Yeah, nothing. Uh -huh. You know, far be it for me to start agreeing with a crazy idea that Commander Fushan has come up with, but mariachi still actually may not necessarily be a bad idea. It seems like we either need to catch this Tholian off guard or somehow try to intercept him in transit. How much equipment do you actually have for your mariachi plan? I mean, I'm just saying, if we wanted mm -hmm. to start up a sudden street parade... I mean, there is a bunch of there's a bunch of holographic equipment that's just left on a street that nobody's currently using. Yep. Uh, Second question for the GM: Realistically, how how much could I say I, I have brought with me, or if I need to use momentum to, to say I have that stuff with me? Um, well, remember we have money, so yeah. that oh, that's true. I just buy that, it. I made that deal, so we have cash on the planet to buy whatever we need. Yeah. So you remember do have the contract cash. I signed. Yeah, you do have cash. Uh, the gear that I had thought you would bring along would be more along the lines of, say, personal stuff, such as, you know, swanky engineering infiltration tools and whatnot, uh, bringing along a trumpet, a marimba, and all the requisite um, Spanish traditional gear might be stretching it a bit. That said, replicators are easily located. Well, sounds like we know where to go next, then. Well, I'm sure we have a room replicator. We can get whatever you need. Uh, not to mention, we do have the money that we got uh, from Dr. Sung. Um... Now, the other option we were talking about was trying to create a, the fire. a fire or something inside that building. It's not a real one, somehow making the system think there was one. I would try rather, to catch. Yeah, I don't want to do a real one. I, I'm against that idea because <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to put the civilian population in danger. Uh, if something Recent memories. go wrong. Yeah. Will I, the mariachi I, band? Oh, sorry, what was that, Vade? Uh, I was about to ask uh, if the mariachi band would actually distract or get the guards' attention. Like, the... I forgot his name. Fault. Jack. But... Oh. Jax. Yeah, Jack Jax? is the big genetically modified Orion guy. The Hulking figure. Yeah. Fault is it. the target. Green skin, yeah. purple pants. Yeah. <laughs> very, yeah. very tiny pants. <laughs> <laughs> Will it actually get his attention and cause him to separate from his boss? Well, well, we got we're... the information that he would leave every so often on his breaks, and he would always go down to the bar for company. And uh, so, I mean, our ticket to get him separated is then. That we for sure know. We just wow. need something intriguing enough for him to, to go check, check out whenever he's um, out on his walk. Ooh. You and, have a really good point. And another idea, seeing as this is a, you know, Orion, a relatively lawless planet, um, one would say you'd a, assume you that know, hive of scum and villainy. Villainy, you, you know, one would. <laughs> um, you can remember I'm dressed as Han Solo, so the building where Fox is in would assume that it would get multiple hacking attempts per hour. So just somebody trying to snoop around wouldn't really set off alarm bells. Maybe. Maybe. 
knocks out. No real fire, though, but faking an alarm is okay. Right. So we have to we would have to get into their systems, set it up where at least the you know the hacking attempt can be obvious, but the the payload, whatever we drop, can't be obvious. Well, that I don't have a solution for at the moment, but I think I have the general outskirts of a plan. And at some point in time, we're going to need to separate Jackson and Fox. So as soon as we actually manage to separate Fox, I'm sorry, as soon as we actually manage to separate Jax, it's probably a way for us to do the general, hey, you look pretty cute. Can you see my hype? Can you see my hype spray for a moment? Man goes down, and I'm just and I'm just saying I really like this holographic technology. If we we set off a fake alarm, and if Fox needs to summon his bodyguards and evacuate the building, we can just holographically recreate him outside. So we need to basically at least one make a trip to that alleyway to get the holographic gear, and two figure a way to at least get hacking into that building and well, we know who's gonna hack we have that we know well, that the other thing we could do is on the hacking have you know one person hacking in the midst of a thousand people hacking is not going to be seen so if we had you know soon get a hold of some contacts to start doing maybe not a denial of service attack or something on that building, anything coming into that building, we could slip right in with that and do what we needed to do. Just realize that this is why Shadow got, Shadow Run games go so long. <laughs> 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 uh, anyway, okay, I am thinking right now that Lieutenant Commander Shran and Commander Helsing go to the alley and get the holographic. Uh, technology that we're going to need um ladies who wants to get prettied up deja i'm, I'm already pretty i'm <laughs> always pretty <laughs> i mean i can get rid of or... this makeup <laughs> well that's right you were or yeah you could... i was supposed to look threatening <laughs> Uh, well, you two could, uh, I hate to impose this, but maybe both of you could entice the, uh, the, uh, Jax. You are making a big assumption there, see, sir. I want to do it. I've always wanted to stealth stick a hypospray in somebody, <laughs> in somebody's neck, you know, legally that, you know, for, for the job. Oh, sure, course, sure, course. sure. <laughs> all right, I see Dr. it done in all of those Holland novels, and I read all these Starfleet After Action reports, and I'm just like, I really wanted to do this. I cannot screw this job up. <laughs> all right, Dr. Williams, I think we have our volunteer. <laughs> all right. For Shane, you want to go with me to the alley and see what we can collect? Why I think that's the most um, polite invitation to an abandoned alley I've ever received. This well, week. stick around with me, and there'll be more to come. <laughs> All right, lead the way. <laughs> okay, so the Shran and Helsing uh, exit stage left, heading to an alleyway. Any? Are there anything that you guys are going to do aside from a dress-up mo montage? Yeah, I really want to. Uh... Dr. Williams to do with the whole pretty woman like <laughs> getting close and montage. Yes. Yeah, we're not that type of stream. <laughs> 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 it does give Bashir the chance to dress up like Roy Orbison. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Ah. Anyways. My beauty makes them I'm uncomfortable. I, I think that uh, personally uh, I, I want to go into the Marachi thing with uh, you know, we can have like two Andorians and a Bajoran Marachi man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mariachi cover band. Yeah. Okay. So we are going some indeterminate amount of time later. 
we find Lieutenant Commander Theshran and Commander Liam Helsing. Uh, you approach the alleyway where you were mugged less than 24 hours ago. Despite the late hour, it is still bustling with the... Well, you think... Well, most people find it still bustling with vendors selling food, Orions and other non-Orions attempting to buy, shouted haggling matches on occasional fist fight, etc., etc. Uh, you, of course, know by now that it is just an illusion. Um, I'll let you actually do the looking for it. I'll provide <laughs> security. Okay. Let's keep an eye on it, because the worst thing that can happen is there's actually somebody hiding out in this hollow crowd. If Mr. Well, Th- it, is a, it is a covert thing. You can assist. Yeah. Uh, so, if Mr. Thishran wishes to do an insight engineering, difficulty one, and if Mr. Liam Helsing wishes to do an insight security, difficulty one, please. All right. And covert ops, maybe? Yes, covert ops would do well, too. Um... Oh, you were. I thought you were running your. Uh, I was asking for your own scan, just to you know oh, see if there's okay. other folks around. Let's do another one. Apologies. Inside like security. Yeah. I'm not very insightful. That's all right. <clears throat> no, you are not very insightful. All right, uh, Mr. Thishran, you are able to find. Uh, several holographic projectors uh, located both ah, located at the seam uh, where the roadway would meet a wall, cleverly hidden under debris or within a poorly painted mural, and you can begin extraction. Uh, Liam, Mr. Helsing, I am going to let I'm going to take threat because this part's kind of important. So if uh, your tricorder picks up. Uh, one other individual, or one other life sign. Um, he's human, and his biology seems to be like you. He, uh, the life sign is emanating from a boarded-up shop, uh, rough, or just a short ways down the alleyway. Trying to get a contact and a. Looks like a shop over there. Are you good to cover here? Yeah, I'll get this over to Jiffy. Okay. Well, let's see right. how fast that Jiffy is. If Mr. Thishran could please roll me a control security, or a daring control security to remove everything, you know, carefully, or daring security just to rip everything out and deal with the consequences later. Basically, how uh, much you succeed yeah. will determine how fast you do it. Okay. Um, does hmm, do power system supply? I'll let that slide in this case. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> uh, I'm gonna do daring and security. I would do this fast if Helsing's gonna do something else. Okay. Uh, what's the difficulty? Um, just however many successes oh, you get many, it okay. determines how fast it cool. is. Okay, then I will. I'll use one momentum. Sure. Yeah, because we definitely. Need what you get. Mm-hmm. Uh, do, 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 do. Wow, that's four successes. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, you're going to be real quick about this. So, uh, we'll get back to that momentarily. Mr. Helsing, you are uh, heading down to a boarded-up shop. At least at first glance, it appears boarded up. Upon closer inspection... Uh, you realize that one of the doors has been forced open, but has just been closed up. Uh, there appears to have been recent activity here. Multiple people, or just just one? And are, is this signal still far back from the entryway? Uh, the uh, there is an occupant inside. Uh, it's not moving. Uh, life sign is active. You do detect uh, the. Ah, you do detect that he has an energy weapon, but judging from its current level of power usage, it is most likely not active. 
as in he's not currently holding it powered up. All right. Let's go on in. All right. Uh, you burst open. Are you open? surreptitiously? Yeah, you you cautiously open the door. Uh, light from the scene outs. Uh, light from the neon lights outside illuminates a poorly lit room. All the windows have been shuttered. Now uh, this particular office looks like it has seen more use by uh, vermin, either rats or street vermin. Take your pick. Uh, more so than any legitimate business owner in the last several months. Dust, uh, dust, grime ha are caked up. There is a single terminal uh, that is... Uh, the only light emanating from inside this room comes from a s single laptop-style terminal that has been set up on one of the tables. A rickety old chair has been brought forward. Sorry, a rickety old chair is currently holding an individual who is instead, instead of looking at the screen, it's looking at you. And what you see is yourself. Rough. He, his eyes are tired. He looks you up and down. I'm not really impressed. I'm not sure what I was expecting, but. No, no. I must admit, I was quite sur I was surprised to see you here. You've been tracking us already? No, I had of a job to do. And I'm... It must speak to this whole mirror duality thing that the philosophers talk about. I have a job to do, I'm here to kill someone. Um, why do I have a suspicion that you're here to do something similar? As uh, he reaches down, at first you think... Uh, 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 uh. Slow <clears throat> down. He pulls out... Uh, he pulls out a small cylindrical object with a um, switch. Or a... Uh, I don't know the actual term for it. It's one of those uh, switches, those uh, cover switches that prevent you from flicking a switch. Uh switch covers, whatever. He flicks it open, he flicks it closed, flicks it open, flicks it closed. It'd be so easy to kill him. I already have the entire upper floor rigged. But... And then upper you... floor of what? Upper floor of the hotel with a Tholian staying. Am I really this stupid? <sighs> The mirror universe is really that much of a mirror? I asked that same question when I when this thing and he pokes at a wrist mounted object or a wrist mounted uh, at first it looks like an Apple smartwatch no, part, no product plugs but that's sort of what it looks like yeah. I was do this thing apparently goes off well, this thing goes off whenever I... Someone with the same... Oh, what they use? Quantum... Whatever the bullshit was. That... Whenever I sh get close. So, I was just ready to blow the joint when all of a sudden it starts beeping. And who walks into the hotel lobby but me? And... Bashir... That lunatic, the Shran. And that. Oh, no, no, no. The Shran. You almost killed him. He shrugs. Then I wasn't doing a good enough job. He continues to flick this uh, switch casing open and closed. So, I could do this, like, right now. But, what's the freaking point? I've killed so, I've killed so many. Done the dirty work for both Bashir 
and the director. This one would be personal, of course, after what he did to my sister. Well, back up what? He sighs. Look, I was trying to get Kay- I was trying to get Kaylin into the group. Her, she was supposed to run an undercover an undercover assassination for one of the lesser on on a lesser target. But heh, assuming she's anything like yours, hopefully yours is still alive. Well, yeah, she is. His eyes, per, uh, his eyes perk up a bit, and you see a little bit of a sparkle and almost a smile. He shrugs. Girl got herself killed, and he was the one that did it. He points at the uh, screen which behind him, which shows in disturbing detail or extracting detail the uh, uh, two-dimensional blueprint of the hotel, and uh, seven different points, each blinking red, most likely indicating where explosives are planted. And it's the Tholian, of course. Of course it's the Tholian. Whatever he's doing is between both our universe and yours. That's why I was here... That's why I had to come here to kill him, because he hasn't been back to ours in a month. And my group... The thing is, I need him. He grimaces a bit. Okay. Well, I don't need him alive. Wow. I need him alive. And I just need to make sure that he will never, ever set foot in our universe again. Well, intelligence on both sides of the mirror operate at the basic fundamental the same. Once you get into it as a prisoner, you don't get out unless you're on a very, very short leash. (laughs) And with this guy... I don't expect him getting out, even on that. I hold you personally accountable to that, but I'm assuming you're me before I... Well, before Kalen was killed. So, here's the deal. Me? I inch... uh, If I ever see this Falx Tholian again in my universe... I will be paying your sister a visit. After all, she's already dead in mine, so... You don't want to be making threats. Yeah. See, I really don't care anymore. I was hired to do a job... And it's either complete the job, or and he he swivels around ever so slowly and points at a blinking chip at the at the base of his neck. Or well, the director gets my head, literally. So <laughs> yeah. How do you go back, prove to your director that you've killed him, and still keep your head? See, that's the easy part. Most tho- there's very min- most Tholians have their crystalline or their silicon structures are very difficult to tell apart once their spark of life has been extinguished. I'll just go back to my universe and kill a Tholian. That looks relatively similar. Run his body through a small explosive device. And he shrugs. You know, best case scenario, I stay alive, the Nighthawk crew gets paid, and I am at the director's mercy to once again carry out another assignment. Worst case scenario, I lose my head. The Nighthawk crew doesn't get paid, and the director gets pissed off until... He takes his vengeance out on another. He smirks, sadly. He keeps flicking it back and forth. Then thinking about it, 
places this places it down and sort of with his boot kicks it over to you. Yeah, no. He smiles. I wonder if you would have the gonads to do what I was going to do. But you have your mission. And far be it from one Helsing to another to get in the way of another Helsing's mission. Just remember, he did kill one of your sis. Well, my sister. Who is kind of like your sister. Kind of not. This whole multi-universe thing is really confusing. Yeah, tell me about it. Mm-hmm. Now, you said your director. Is that Chalmers? Uh, no. No, not at all. Uh, okay. That it's Good. a direct, director Singral. Oh, really? He, okay. Yeah. He shrugs. Yeah. Don't. Yeah, his telepathy is very, very sharp. Freaking. But. You don't live as long as we do without developing a few countermeasures. Yeah, some I still got to work on. Yeah, my recommendation: just implant a uh, theta. Just implant implant a delta wave in, inhibition chip inside your frontal lobes. That's what I've done. Been able to keep me fairly emotionally steady for the last. He starts counting on his fingers. Three months. Ever since she died, anyways. Keeps all the rage down. It might not be working as well as you think it is. That's not for you to... Who are you to judge me? Oh, right. You're me. And he's... Actually, I think you're me. Either way, just... Just don't... From me to you, from me to me... Just, if you're going to succumb to whatever dark voices happen, or whatever dark voices might start talking inside your head, either deal with them or leave no witnesses. And with that, he um, pulls up his uh, watch, uh, enters a few commands into his uh, wrist, or into the screen, and both he and the terminal fade out of existence. He gives you a little bit of a an open hand farewell wave and the most insincere smile you have ever seen yourself give. And I give him a sign of international friendship. Ah, uh, yes. And just roughly around that time, you come out and have... Uh, around that time, uh, Thishran, you have literally dewired half of this city block. Or this back alleyway, but dang nation, you have gotten everything. Rashan, are you okay? Yeah, what took you so long? She, I'm, you're okay, though. Oh, yeah. Look at all the stuff all right. I got. Thank God. Well, I hold up a tube with a little flashing light on it. Look what I got. What's that? It... <sighs> Well, let's just say it's the key to a bomb. Huh. Well, we'll talk as we head back. Do you need a hand carrying that? Uh, yeah, help, help me pick up this piece over here. I got the rest. All right. <coughs> and I'll kind of fill them in from there. All right. You're telling them the whole story? Um, um, with, I caught... A, a sign and the reason I had it, I went when I did the life sign I think I saw had the bio readings of me oh. and apparently it was the mirror universe me who you had a run in with right that guy yeah so, that guy yeah. did you what happened? How did you end up getting, like, did you, I assume if you had, you know, knocked him he, out. He, nah, I was trying to talk him in, but 
he was on a mission to kill our target and he has an entire top floor wired to blow this happens to be the key he just let you have it well we came to an understanding I hope huh okay that I know like excuse me for saying but like that seems kind of out of character for him considering knowing you and your dedication to mission seems weird for him to do that well the villain is responsible for some pain on his personal pain to him and as long as I keep him get the we get the Thonely and what's do him he'll be happy I'm not going to fill in the part about the sisters fair enough alright fair enough I guess we'll just uh, keep an eye out just in case but hopefully he uh, doesn't cause any complications for us or any more complications anyways well how easy it is for him to bounce across what, what the barrier what is it you call it between the mirror universe and here he just basically transported out huh so which can you just transport as easily back in I don't know I'll tell you well, I guess not what you can do mirrors. Mirrors. Yeah, and me looking in mirrors ain't going to be the same anymore. Yeah. Yeah, I hear you there. Well, I'm glad I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> uh, and on that note, we are going to cut to the bar. As soon as GM gets a couple extra tokens in place. So, uh, first night of recon. Uh, while they're out doing their thing, uh, Starfleet is out doing theirs. Uh, Mr. Bashir, you are, of course, down at the bar with Miss Vaid, just in case, just to watch the show. And I believe Miss Williams was playing the role of the pretty woman. As soon as I remember. Playing. Oh, I live that. My apologies. Is the role of the pretty woman. Now, I'm sitting at the bar, making small talk. Trying to capture the eyes of every man. Or possibly woman, depending on preference, in the bar. Let me rearrange, resize the map piece so everyone can see it on stream. There we go. When... Down comes Jack. There's a. As soon as he sets f uh, foot in the bar, there's a giant roar of appreciation from all the regulars as everyone raises a glass. Jack raises a meaty sized hand that looks like it could crush someone's head with, a, with but a single grip. And what is most interesting about this situation is that Jack is flaunted on either sides by two shirtless Orion males. And they have their arms around him, making uh, rather affectionate gestures with each other. And despite having the strength of a bull, he is treating both of them very gingerly. Within this bar, is it are there are probably is words okay? Yep. What <laughs> what other <laughs> recreation is in here? There we go. That's mm. what I wanted to ask. I had the same thing as like maybe like some double some double tables, maybe some double that as well. Absolutely, not just a bar, is it a recreation facility. Absolutely, uh, the bar is of course the first thing that attracts a person's eye upon entering it. And to get to the facilities beyond, such as Dabo tables, uh, Domjot uh, tables, dart boards, something that looks like air hockey, but with a live uh, spheroid creature in the center, and several other games of alien make and manufacture beyond. 
Further beyond that are, uh, yeah. Further beyond that are dancing or dancer cages. There's a show or there's a stage for various shows, and not so subtly hidden are several cage or several private uh, viewing areas, with some beefy-looking security guards who are more than happy to take money in exchange to let you in. As Jack and his posse arrive, uh, he sits down at a bar stool, which, not surprisingly, b bends under his weight. He doesn't seem to mind. Uh, the green, uh, the green Orion g serving girl, struts over, flashes him his her big s hormone backed smile. Uh, words are exchanged that are drowned out over the loud techno thumping music. And she breaks out a giant, uh, sturdy metal or sturdy metal glass that would appear to have the structural integrity similar to that of a Defiant class starship. Uh, she fills it up with all sorts of liquor. The whole thing bubbles, and almost as tradition, Jack spin, spins around on the stool, causing it to collapse entirely stands up, holds it aloft, the entire bar starts shouting, Jack! 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 And he downs the approximately an entire uh, two liters of the stuff in one gulp, lets out a earth-shattering belch that, uh, that uh, overpowers the uh, base of the uh, base of the music, Turns the glass upside, or turns the cup upside down, slams it on the table, where it leaves a little bit of a hiss, where the whatever the liquid was uh, corrodes a small portion of the veneer away. There's a loud, raucous applause. Uh, he um, big gives a big smooshy kiss to one of his uh, companions. Let's say the one on the left. And then they are le then they lead each other away back to the gaming room, or the gaming area. All right then. Well, I'm gonna be go sure to Deja. <laughs> go ahead. I think you're out of your league. <laughs> <laughs> Nonsense, my dear. I have multiple lifetimes of experience handling these types of people. Oh, well, that's right, because you're Trill, correct? I am. Ah, yes. What a surprise. Deja's a joint Trill. What a surprise. She just gained the, the joint talent. Crazy. <laughs> I think you've already activated her for this particular mission. I'm not going to let you get away with two activations in the same episode. But let's. Yes. We will just say for plot's sake that you have it. Yes, but at the same time, when we activated her in the past, we never added anything to her. That so is true. I'm just going to count this as one of those things that we never got around to the first time around. But you are correct. We have activated her this episode. All right. And whose trill is apparently named Williams, assuming Deja decides to go with the whole joint trill naming mantra. But that's something for another day. Vade's gonna look over to Bashir. I'll bet you um, that she's gonna succeed in that. I mean, I hope she does, but. Uh... <laughs> I pull out one of the bars of gold press latinum and go, you got a deal. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and health begins to get the feeling that there's violence happening without him being around. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mr. Williams. My combat sense is tingling. So, I'll Knuckle go... Uh, Police Academy. I'll, before I go into the game room, I'm going to uh, go over to Mr. Bashir and just say, I think I'm going to need a little bit of a loan. And don't worry. I'll make sure to whip back. Fair enough. I'll give him some money. Okay. All right. 
Well, upon entering, uh, what, is, what exactly is uh, Jack's playing right here right now? What's catching his eye? Uh... Uh, Jack seems to be a big hit at the double table, or the double wheel. Right. It has been uh, modified precisely for his use, as in uh, twice the size and probably three times the mass. He gives it a monstrous spin, and it takes about 45 seconds for it to stop spinning. It comes to a plinking halt, and sadly it doesn't land on Dabo. He grunts, pulls out another strip of, or pulls out some more quidloons from his pocket, which are delightfully tiny, tosses them in, and tries again. <laughs> so. I'd like to make a uh, insight medicine check on him. Sure. And I want to, but I'm looking for a, uh, I'm looking for a psych test, and I'd like to see if he's the type of man that's going to, uh, you know, either get, you know, get all piss all of his money away, or if he gets, or if he's gonna type, if he seems like the type of guy that actually likes a challenge, or or he just wants to be the life of the party. Okay. It seems like it's the latter so far, but you know, I wanna, <laughs> I wanna see if I can put some medical science on this. Sure. So I can read the man. Uh, insight medicine, uh, if you have psychology or criminal insights or something like that, that would work. Uh, difficulty you, of one. I am a... F you know, it's difficult to get a read on the guy. On one, as on one aspect, he still... S on every time he spins the wheel, he still seems to maintain a ever-watching presence. Uh, his eyes keep shifting around as if he's looking for something or looking, just, you know, being on his guard. It's difficult to get a proper reading on him. He's just having too much fun. Well, sorry, he's looks like he's having a lot of fun, but at the same time, not. Alright, in that case, we'll do this the old fashioned day. Deal me in. Okay. You want to throw some? You throw some latinum at. Ah, you throw some latinum at the giant dab of wheel. Uh, roll me. Presence plus command, please. Difficulty one. Just to you know, let the boys in the just you know let them know that you are playing in and you're not afraid. All right. This is what I'm going to use my joint talent on. Okay. Clearly. I changed, obviously, at some point in time, I, I guess I changed my uh, symbiote name in the past, probably out of respect for somebody else, but uh, definitely Ezra, Ezra Williams back then, man, that man was a gambler, and he had no fear, because okay. he knew we could take it on. All right. I hope you're taking notes, because I'm not. <laughs> so we have Ezra Williams... Uh, roll me, and there's two successes, so you get one momentum out of the deal. <clears throat> you know, the a people are at first surprised to see a trail walk up, uh, throw her, uh, throw her latinum into the game, especially when the table, especially when there are more properly sized dabo tables out there. Uh, Jack snorts a bit, showing a bit of disdain, but not. Overly, or not being overly hostile, and his two uh, wingmen, arm candy, whatever you want to call them, uh, don't pay you much heed. In fact, the only person who's interested in you appears to be the Dabble Girl. She gives you a quick once up, once over, determines that you have the latinum, and you are here to play. So you play and you spin, and let's see what happens. Jack rolls Dabo. He lets out a massive shout and of triumph as he takes the quidloons, the quidlots, and the latinum from the giant bowl, which appears to have been molded to fit his hand because it fits just perfectly. He has trouble trying to get uh, his fingers on some of the nubby little uh, quidloons, but other, after a while of trying and just not doing well with it, he just waves his hand to indicate that he'll just let that part ride.
Well, it's so nice that you have an audience available to go help you. I gotta just do this all by my lonesome. Why don't you bring one of those over here? See if I get lucky. He looks... Uh, what is it, What are your physical characteristics? How tall are you? I'd probably say maybe around six. Six okay. feet. Maybe six one. All right. So you're on, you only uh, dwarf him by about six inches. Not too terrible. Uh, still, he does crane his overly muscular neck down, and down on you. Snorts a bit. Let's see what you got. And that's the first time he's actually spoken, which hasn't reverberated the entire room. As he continues, or he pulls out some more lat, pulls out actual latinum, tosses it in. I look forward to taking your money. You could try your best, but uh, don't necessarily get ahead of yourself. The night's still young. Indeed. And so is the double table. Well, I can't say the same around. I can't say the same about your entourage, though. It seems like they're starting to gray on their sides. The uh, the one on the left takes. He looks a bit shocked, and then he just makes it. Oh no, she didn't look right back at you. <laughs> as the table rolls Dabo for Deja. Well, look at that. I guess I don't necessarily need the help after all. You're a, you're a mouthy one, ain't you? Well, I'm not the loudest thing in here, but... I mean, not, not right now, but, I mean, the night's still young. I could be. He, he laughs. Loudly. Tamaris, sweetie, why don't you see about getting me another one of those concoctions? And the le- the one on the left, will strike, we'll head back to the bar. Uh, that's when I'm going to stealth tap my comm badge to uh, see if I could signal the rest of the party to keep him there. All right. On it. Okay, so he'll be gone for a bit. What do you wish to do next? Oh, I definitely want to keep playing him and just some over the course of the game, I want to move to the opposite side of the table where his other piece of eye candy was and take his ah, place. Interesting. Okay, um, this is going to be presence plus probably command or. Do I want to roll medicine for this? Hmm. I'm thinking either security or command. Whichever one you want. And this is going to be opposed by him. Security. Uh, yeah, you only have to... You have to... Yeah. He's not paying much attention to your particular movements. So, yeah. Uh, I'll spend a momentum for an extra dice. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> hoo, hoo, hoo. Uh, that's not real. Uh, he stares. Get, get back. This is Temris's spot, and he would be mighty pissed. If he found that you were trying to make some sort of unwelcome move on me. What are you talking about? I'm just moving to the other side of the table. It's a bit drafty over there. It's hard to spin the wheel. Yeah. Then perhaps you should go to one of the other Dabo tables. They're more your size. And he gives it a mighty spin. And it turns out to be Dabble for Deja again. He he stomps and, and he stomps in frustration, glares at the Dabble girl who makes up 
he sh who shrugs. Meanwhile, well, oh, sorry, go ahead. More witty one-liners. It seems like right now you're the architect of your fortune or misfortune. He wants an elf. <laughs> he does not seem pleased, and neither does the person. Neither does his other arm candy. Meanwhile, <sighs> at the bar, uh, we have the Orion, known as Temerus, apparently, is. He's miming to uh, Mr. Soong, and Mr. Soong is already beginning the most extravagant display of chemical mixing, and uh, that you've that you've seen tonight. All right, I'll go up to the bar. Okay. I'll put my hand on his shoulder and kind of play with it. Have you ever seen what blue and green make? Just because I can, think it's... Sorry, go, go ahead, Vade. Can Vade hear that? I'm going to pretend that she can, yes. Yes. She's going to yeah, roll go her eyes. <laughs> like, Helsing did a spit take. <laughs> and, he's not even... and he's not even here. <laughs> uh, okay. Roll, <laughs> just because I think it's hilarious. Uh, roll pres presence plus command, difficulty of zero. Okay. Xenobiology? No. Uh, if you had one-liners, puns, or something of that, <laughs> sure, yeah. Infectious disease? <laughs> uh, well, you don't... Oh, shit. Uh, uh, well, you don't make, get any momentum out of the roll, but you do have his attention. He sure. turns his attention from Mr. Soong, who's... Tr who's... Well, he's trying to pay attention to both you and his drink. Uh, you notice him actually separate his uh, his uh, eyes so that one moves in one direction, one move, one stays focused on the drink. He he turns around in the bar. Uh, he turns around, looks you up and down. Well, if it isn't tall, if it isn't tall, bright blue and stunning. And tell me. I was noticing. <laughs> Go on. And tell me, Mister. Ah, tell me, Mister Blue Guy. What is your drink, so I can buy you some too? Well, of course, I would have been drinking the finest of their Andorian ale. Hmm. Andorian ale is. You can get that on any rock. This sweetie is an. This is Orion. He snaps his fingers, attracting the attention of the blue, or the uh, Orion, uh, the female Orion bartender. Uh, sweetie, this person, or this tall drink of ice water, has only been drinking iced wine while he's here, and I find that to be such a crime. Why don't you uh, fetch him a couple shots of uh, the Kamalian sundown chilled to minus two degrees oh that sounds nice it has been getting and I will touch his chest getting hot in here oh my well, that's the cameo we, we should have is uh, Mr. Uh, uh, never mind <laughs> <laughs> the uh, uh, the waitress slides two shot glasses uh, in ah in your general direction. He catches them deftly with his left hand, swings them over. You notice that they have a slight frosting on the exterior, and they are well, they might not be completely cold to your touch, but they definitely are to his. See, uh, tell you what, handsome, and he'll he'll raise it for a uh, toast, and clink it. A, uh, he'll clink it 
against you, or he'll clink his glass against yours. Okay. Mm. I match it back. Yep. He'll down it, and he'll shiver um, seductively. Okay. I've... I'll down mine. <laughs> oh, sweetie, I must get this back to my beloved, but thankfully, he's more of an open relationship guy. So, why don't I see you shortly? And then we can see where else we can drink liquids from. Why do you have to go so soon? Can't one of these waiters take care of that? A strong man like you shouldn't have to be bowing down to somebody. <laughs> oh, if someone told me that this Unless... social conflict would be working tonight, that... <laughs> Unless, you know, you want to go down on. Ah. Well, uh, roll me an opposed presence command, please. Okay. Uh, it'll be opposed by his ins by his insight command. Well, you need to meet or... Uh, no, you need to beat. Or you need to beat uh, two successes. So you need okay. three or more. You know what? Sorry, guys. I'm using a momentum. (laughs) 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 Oh! 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 Oh? Oh? (laughs) Oh, my. Okay. Yes, exactly. (laughs) Who? I have blue blooded, home is where the heart is, or fascination with the unknown. Oh, so, so you're actually attempting, you're, you're selling your, uh, that, you're spending I, your I'm, determination? I'm spending my determination. Okay. Reroll those two okay. zeros. Okay. <laughs> We just use challenge dice to reroll the two, right? That's right, yep. Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. You uh, just no. reroll the test. Not challenge oh, okay. dice, yeah. Okay. That's where I got. I don't even want to read what's going on in chat. <sighs> Darn it. Yeah. It'll still be there for you. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Presence. One of these days, I think I'm going to buy a mouse. Very, very useful thing to have. Mm-hmm. That's what takes me so okay. long with the touchpad. Ah, yes. Okay, that's the three successes you need. Yes. Well, and he... He... Yeah. And he takes a look over his shoulder to where his... Uh, companion, Jack, is stomping at a yet another loss at the Dabble Wheel to Miss Williams. I suppose... Uh, he does seem to be getting into a bit of a state right now. I think it best if... Yes, I think I could use a bit of... A, he's getting a bit hot-blooded, and that's not what I want right now. And he'll run his finger up and down your uniform, or your clothing. Right. So, let's find a quiet place to chat. I'll follow you. Miss Vayed, you're watching all this go down, um, and he seems to have left you alone at the table. And we have one more... Uh, eye candy. Yeah, one more eye candy. Uh, but he currently is being a bit territorial. Anyway, so he yeah. he's Sorry. actually with uh, Deja and Jack. That's right. Yep, uh, he is still with uh, Deja, or he's still with Deja and Jack. Okay. And is Deja in sight? It's a bit crowded. Uh, Jack tends to draw a crowd wherever he goes, plus the fact that he is massive does 
tend to block line of sight sometimes, but you are able to see them, yes. All right. Um, I will maneuver to get a clear sight of them, and if it's by one of the dancers, awesome. Okay. So basically, she'll just watch watch the dancers and or give tips, and I don't know what everybody else is doing, but she'll play along. Okay. Cool. So, I mean, roughly around this time, um, uh, Mr. Helsing and Mr. Thashrand return back to the hotel lobby. It is approximately, let's see if I remember my timeline right, I would say it's about two in the morning. There is less folks in the lobby at the moment than usual because, well, it is 2 a.m., but there's still a decent amount of traffic if you're looking for interesting people to keep an eye on. Um, Thashran, or not, not Bashir, Thashran is carrying several pieces of equipment. Uh, it's mostly light, but bulky. He, Mr. Helsing, he seems that one piece of equipment happened to be the holographic control unit and is the heavy. It's one piece, but dang nation, it's heavy. Uh, I guess we'll we'll go back and get the stuff. I I guess it needs to be set up, right? I guess we'll set it up. Yeah. Yes, it would. I guess take over. Yep. Okay. Are we in the lobby of the other building or our building? You're in the you're in the lobby of your building. Okay. Yep. Your building, the, so the one that we... has Falks on and several explosives silently placed up top. Yes. Oh, okay. So we're all in the same building. Oh, yes. That was my understanding. Okay. Yes. Two separate buildings. My bad. I mean, he was set up in a near separate building just because, you know, it was far enough away from the blast zone, but yes. So. All right. So, how best do we set this stuff up without anybody seeing? That is a good question. An explosion on the top floor, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> well, that would be yeah, amusing. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm pretty sure if a fire wasn't acceptable, I get a big explosion would be. Uh, huh. So where do we need to set this up, then? Like, What's, what's the range on these things? Uh, you would have figured out with your tearing of everything out, uh, yep. each holographic projector has a range of approximately 100 meters. Of course, okay. the more you, the more you, uh, the fact that they were hidden was because they were only projecting about 10 meters, and so were using less power. The more power you feed into them, of course, the easier they are to detect. Hmm. Trying to think what's a, what's a good place to put them. Depends on what you may want have to do. wall for that. Yes. Uh, so, just a reminder: you're looking to create a holographic f fire, or are you going mariachi band? Um, I just want to know what you're trying to create. So, because I I heard a lot do of we... ideas, but I wasn't entirely certain. I heard a direct conclusion. Now, we want to do the fire on the lower floor, maybe up Yeah. Okay. There, we might be able to get some place where it's even more secluded, easier to set up. I don't want to lug this thing up anymore, but yeah. it's, it's a better chance. It, Seeing how open this more... area is. Yeah. Maybe it's more sense to have the fire on the top floor, that way people can easily flee from the bottom. If you put in the bottom, people might try to scramble other exits or something. Yeah. And we definitely don't want him to run down. We want him at least to run up. But he has that flyer. 
Oh, I'm gonna, yeah. I'm going to address that. Okay, so should we put on a floor floor right below him? I don't know if we can get that high, get that close. Well, 100 meters. Doesn't even do that bad close, I guess. We have, we have a little bit of, of leeway there. Yeah, we did like halfway up. That'd probably be okay. Yeah. Okay, why don't we do that? Why don't we hit, try to head to halfway up point and see if we can find a good place to uh, set this thing up. Please tell me there's a lift. Oh yes, there are plenty of uh, uh, there are plenty of lifts, both turbo lifts and regular lifts. Oh God. Hope it's not people staring at us, being like, "What the hell are these guys doing carrying all this equipment?" <laughs> Actually, that's yeah, a, you know, that's the beautiful thing about these sort of shady type hotel rooms, or these sort of shady hotel facilities. Nobody asks, seems to be asking many questions, which is well, convenient. Yeah, which is quite convenient as you step into a uh, lift, and before the doors close, uh, two other Orions, uh, one female, one male, both extremely interested in one another enter uh they don't seem to actually care that you are carrying what appears to be several uh let's see eight holographic emitters and a control board in what might be classified as a walmart shopping bag they pull Perfect. out they pull out their room key uh tap it against the uh, lift door and it begins to go up <clears throat> and um, I will say that they get off. So let's just say that this building is 100 stories tall. They'll get off at story 25. And for sake of argument, your room is on story 33. Or the 30, that, the 33rd floor. Uh, yeah, so above us would be okay. So right around 45, 50. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so you try to tap your... You tap your... Uh, key to the lift, but it will take you only to 33. You'll have to figure out how to get to 45. Alright, stick to it, and I guess we'll have to, have to manually carry this thing up here somehow. You want to hack the lift? <laughs> sure, okay. Let's give that a shot. <laughs> okay. Commission's probably e-card. Yeah. I can't that, be that hard, right? This is just like a basic. Okay, let me, let me get as far as I can get you on it, Tricor okay. might be something, but uh, can control engineering if you don't want to leave a trace. Daring plus engineering if you do. If I do want to leave a trace, <laughs> I mean, you know, false flag operation, you know, could be a, you know, uh, control engineering would be difficulty of one, and a daring plus engineering would be difficulty zero. Yeah, we probably need to cover our tracks because we don't yeah. want to come back on soon. Yeah. All right. Control engineering. That's the one success you need. Look at that. A turbo lift uh, security is no no match for my engineering skills. What a surprise. This is promising for the rest of the plan. I wonder how they're doing with a bodyguard. I'm sure it's going just as smoothly. I mean, you could call them and find out. No. Uh, I, for some reason, I don't really want to know. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I'm sure they're having having zero problems. <laughs> uh, quite possibly. Anyways, yeah. uh, you have now reached the 45th floor. Uh, room up, or hallway upon hallway look pretty similar to one another, leading to several, you know, rooms for. 4401, 4402, etc., etc., etc. Uh, because it's early in the morning, there's not a heck of a lot of, pe of people wandering about. Is there a way to look at the doors and see if rooms are occupied? No. Uh, they're uh, not at a glance, I'm afraid. It's not like an airport lavatory. Nope. Afraid not. Or an airplane. Okay. No, an uh, Orion's room want wanting privacy. Hmm. Fancy that. Go figure. 
Is there a possibility of like remote hacking system to to find out that info? You are more than welcome to do so. Uh, this is going to if you're trying to break into hotel security, uh, this would be a uh, control plus security for computer hacking. Uh, this would be a difficulty of four. Oh, okay. Um, covert ops be good for a focus? Mm. Not in this instance. Uh, you're trying to hack a computer systems. So if you had, you know, computer systems or hacking or something like that, that would work better. And you can always give me threat for more dice if you'd like. Yeah, I can... I just don't have a specific focus in that yeah. area. So. <clears throat> yeah, I don't have any great skills for this. If only you had a science officer that might or might not have computer science. Actually, I don't think she does, yeah. but... Okay. Not hacking, though. We've seen her do it. What? Who? Oh, no, Who? she does have computers in hacking. So, oh. you know, if only you knew someone that had that. Yeah, too, we don't. <laughs> All right. Hey, can you talk? I'm here. You're distracting me from the dancers, but yes, I'm here. Uh, you should be working. I am. You better be. Are you, are you covering the rest of the team? Yes. I'm okay. keeping an eye. Good. All right. Please tell me they're not the dancers. <laughs> no, but if I'm okay. not careful, I might end up being one. To pay off Bashir. Right. <laughs> uh, I'm sure we'll be in the down brief. Um, we need you to do a hacking attack. Uh, Commander Thorshan will fill you in on the details. Uh, um, out of character is. Do we happen to have maps on us, or do we ha know the locations of the like terminals or anything that we can use? Um, I will say that you know at least well you know some of them uh, we get complimentary Wi-Fi when we checked in <laughs> yes yes we did yes you have some internet <laughs> access you know Are most we honors gets... members I don't think you're reward we you did. did yeah you did not get reward or you did not get reward access tier or platinum access you tier know, or whatever the Cars didn't offer us to you know, the rewards program when we checked in. So we're not going to come back here again. <laughs> uh. is, is there a terminal relatively close to Deja where I can still keep an eye on her? Or do I have to go for If you had the two momentum to spend for the advantage, I'd give it to you. Uh, however, ah. most of the secure, most of the terminals are outside, or back, back in your room. There's one, of course. You'd have to find a way around that. You could go up and meet them wherever they are. There's several other access terminals. Most of them just provide, you know, status updates or connections to the news networks. But there are several in the lobby. Uh, there's a, several private conference rooms that probably have some form of access. Uh, you could see if Mr. Suing is willing to give you access to his suite, which he may or may not do, but... Or you could go back to yours. Uh, actually, I'll go ahead and ask him if he, he'll let me borrow his terminal. Okay, uh, presence plus... Command, please. And this is going to be opposed by him. Oh my. Yeah, uh, you succeed. He. Very well. Just be very, be very conscious of my wife, who is mo or of my partner, who is sleeping. Yes, sir. I'll do my best. Uh, he, uh, as you turn to leave, he goes, Miss, you forgot your change. He turns, uh, he turns around and quickly slaps a, uh, few quadloons plus a, uh, key fob into your, into your hand. 
he winks. It would help if you could actually get into it. <laughs> I'll, I'll wave my hand at him. It's like, thank you, sir, for uh, giving me my change. Uh... <clears throat> I'll make my way over to sweet. Okay. We find ourselves here. Uh, most of, well, you do. Most of these people don't because they're not here at the moment. All right. Uh, let's see. You. Is she actually sleeping in this room? Um, hypothetically, she could be sleep. Uh, she's certainly dressed for it. Uh, she's wearing a some form of extremely racy negligence. Uh, extremely racy lingerie, uh, but she's actually at uh, Doctor Soong's computer, actively typing it up. As soon as you, as soon as she opens, or as soon as you open the door, uh, she slams it shut rather loudly and attempts to make her way back into bed before, well, you bust her. But too late. You have seen what you've seen. And she looks up and down. You. What are you doing here? I had permission to use the terminal, but I was also told that you would be asleep mm. and to be awake. But you're not. <laughs> good morning. <laughs> yes, good morning. Good she. So. Am I correct in assuming then that you're with Starfleet for some reason with this working with my husband? I would say that we're not uh, not really and yet she we're not advocates. She rolls her eyes and makes a <sighs> noise. Okay. And I've had complaints on my uh, not being uh, <laughs> intelligence <laughs> office. <laughs> okay, Missy, let's take this from the top. Uh, she reaches into one of her cu one of the drawers at, by her nightstand, pulls out a small disc, lays it on the table, and activates a holographic badge. Milanus, ah, Milana Sidaris, Orion Securities Agency. And you are? <laughs> um, Veidina. Uh, I guess you could say merchant. <laughs> Rather, I protect the merchants. She shrugs. Close enough. <clears throat> Good enough. Your friends, or your merchants, are at least friends with Mr. Soong. I'm pretty sure he isn't who he says he is either, but he's been very meticulous. I'm using him as much as he's using me, really. Anyways, let me guess. You're here. You talked with him at length about Falks. You're here to get information for him. Just so Actually happens. Actually, not I'm... for him. Eh. Well, it doesn't matter. He's just one small part, and quite if that part were to fall out of place, it would actually make my job a lot easier, too. Because then the organization will have to readjust, and that's when people get sloppy. So, and she does a grand gesture towards her computer, which is probably the first time in your life you have ever seen a scantily dressed Orion female uh, gesturing sexually to towards a computer screen instead of herself but here we are and she immediately takes a couple steps away back into her closet there's the flash of a uh, a uh, clothing replimat and she steps out again in a more tasteful um, casual attire did you have issues accessing the terminal or his computer <laughs> Of course not. He may be, he may be extremely brilliant, but be, and he's also an android, of course. 
yeah, he's the data, or at least the data 2.0. He, told, he tried to tell me the story a couple times, but most of it's beyond my pay grade. However, once we've established a good working relationship, he was more than happy to get me access to what I needed, and he gave me access to a lot more. <laughs> Anyways, dearie, please. I'm curious to see what you do. So you're saying if we get rid of the Tholian, it would help you? Oh yes, we've been try, we've been trying to figure out, or the Orion Securities Agency is, has been trying to figure out what Falks or how Falks fits into, what is, technic what is typically a very closed organization, for a Tholian to crash his way in at such a high level uh, about a year ago or so it was caught us all by surprise he's been very meticulous with his dealings they're very secretive but and she shrugs the Orion Securities Agency knows that the at least understands that once he showed up their illicit revenue increased by at least one third and if he could be taken out of the picture it would probably cause at least that much worth of damage to the organization the syndicate well. gets all the syndicate gets all quite frankly puts us Orions all ah, gives us all a bad name sweetie but not all while we are certainly free spirited and an individ individ yeah individualistic society, not all of us are slavers, torturers, crime lords. That's good to know. She she tenses at the word slavers, but relaxes a bit <laughs> so at this point um, Helsing and uh, Thashran you guys have just been stopped by a bellhop who is making a late night door uh, uh, service call to one of the rooms and he's asking what you're doing with all this equipment at uh, this hour in the morning uh, building care key machine I mean, there's a party we gotta get set up for. Yeah. He doesn't seem paid enough to care, but just as soon as he turns and leaves, that's when Vaid calls in. I've got access to the terminal. You wouldn't Great. believe it. Uh, I'm in soon suite. <laughs> and uh, she'll look back at his wife. Turns out we might have an ally. Maybe. Another one? <laughs> a maybe ally? <laughs> maybe. Another maybe ally? <laughs> I'm not dead yet. Got a lot so. of maybe, we got a lot of maybe yeah. allies. We, we got maybe have so sure about allies. Sounds well... like we maybe have a maybe ally. <laughs> no one ally I want to kill. <laughs> maybe. Well, she seems to be pro getting rid of Artholian. Okay, that's probably the same. Okay, we can fill and that, in that's how you find the room. I guess. It works secure. <laughs> Maybe. It might be secure. I don't know. Okay. Um, I need you to get us into a, an empty room. On the 45th floor. All yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, so because you're from a terminal... And this terminal required you a, has a elevated privileges. Uh, this is going to be a either a con, probably a control security. Uh, you could try to seduce. Ah, nope. You could. I got too many Tholians in the head. You could try to convince me. Terminal. You could try to convince me for a um, engineering or science instead, but it's going to be difficulty of three.
I can't figure out a way to make it science related. <laughs> Dang. Fair enough. Uh, c computers are hacking work? Yep, absolutely. No! Oh boy. <laughs> uh, you know, you might want to spend your determination now. If you can have a good value. Didn't you have like a sh raised on the shady side or something like that? I was raised on the shady, or yeah. <laughs> okay. I was I used will, to hang with a bad crowd. I will let that happen. You can reroll that uh, complication. It's you need a critical success though. One d twenty, right? Uh, yep, yeah, just one d twenty. That's only two successes. Um, but you know what? I'm going to let that succeed at cost because I'm going to need some more momentum for the next bit. So I will uh, take that. I will let that succeed with threat. <coughs> uh, you are okay. in. Uh, you find several vacant rooms on the 44th, or sorry, 45th floor. Uh, the closest one to the turbo lift sh or to the elevator's turbo lift shaft would be uh, 1430. Uh, sorry, 4530. 4530. I'm going to look over to um, Soldaris and um, ask, ask her. And it's like, do you happen to know if uh, on the 45th floor, for some random reason, if any of those rooms are usually occupied or frequented? Uh, she shrugs some of them. The secret to most of these hotels is that many of the rooms are constantly booked to individuals who need to make frequent getaways, meetings, or she bites the lower part of her lip, hookups. You'd be surprised what they would go. F You'd be surprised what they go for. However, the hotel does maintain a very good booking record, at least maintaining which rooms are currently occupied or not. So that's a good. Th that's another thing about our society, which well, can be good, cannot be good, is that it v values privacy. The hotel doesn't even contain booking. Doesn't even contain the real names of guests. Just pseudonyms. That's good to know. Um, what is there a time window that they'll have in the empty space before someone else has booked it? Or... It's probably already booked, but they have no idea. I have no idea. I don't keep track of every single individual here. Just the two or three that have that are powerful enough to be well connected. And she points skyward, of course, indicating folks. Got it. Yeah. yeah. Just it change on... the name of whoever. If it, if you find one and it's doesn't have anybody inside of it, just change the name on it if it's already reserved. Mm -hmm. All right. That way they'll check in and they won't have one. Okay, easy enough. So you, you have a call a... sign you want to use. <laughs> Cost time for the booking? Yeah. Horatio Hornblower. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mr. Hornblower. Oddly enough, that is a perfectly decent pseudonym at an Orion Hotel. Uh, you uh, are. It, it hit me <laughs> as soon as I said it. Wow. Uh, okay. Uh, Mr. Thishran and Mr. Helsing, if you could each roll me control engineering and slash or control security to set up the... Um, holographic projectors. This is going to be a difficulty of two. Am I assisting? You are or... assisting, yes. Okay, and I probably don't have anything on focuses. Small arms phaser, since it's light-based? No. Oh, I, I wow. mean, I appreciate you trying to grasp at straws, but... Maybe I'll 
buy an extra die with threat. Okay, I'll take that threat. Since I, since I have bold, so I can reroll a die. Hmm. Okay. So. Well, that's, uh, that's the two you need, but you can reroll one okay. to see if you get more momentum. I might as well. Okay, so that's that momentum right back. All right, let's get one time. All right. Okay, uh, you have set up the holographic projectors. It is now approximately five o'clock in the morning. Um, down at the bar, uh, Mr. Bashir, you have had to take one for the team. And let's just leave it at that. Uh, Deja, uh, you and J uh, Jack is at least tolerating your presence, even though it's clearly, per even though he clearly prefers the um, more experienced touch of his other companion. Um, Lieutenant Vaid, you have, ha, are you are in Mr. Soong's quarters? with uh, an agent of the Orion Securities Agency, making sure you don't overstay, overstay your welcome. And Miss, and then we have Bashir and... Nah, we have Thashran and Helsing in room 44, thir, uh, 4530, ready to flick the ghost switch on the holographic fire. Um, that sound about accurate? Yeah. Cool. Because uh, roughly around this time, the building be the building vibrates as a series of explosions um, emanate from the top floor, and then we are that is where we are going to take our break. So let's be back at uh, well, right on the hour. So eight o'clock my time, ten o'clock Eastern, I believe. So we will be back then and see what happens next. And we are back. Where? If we were to say zoom out to a external view of the building, which none of you can currently see, but it makes for a nice scenery shot. Uh, let's see the building <clears throat> that you are around is currently besieged by three uh, light flyers. Uh, Mr. Helsing, and uh, you are and uh, Thashran are the closest to the gunfire. <clears throat> uh, you definitely pick up the telltale sounds of disruptor cannon firings, uh, disruptor cannons firing. So good news, the bombs didn't go off. Bad news, someone's shooting up there. And good news is it'll keep whatever flyer he has on the ground. Mm-hmm. Well, the other the other team's uh, mission definitely uh, didn't go quite right if this result. Roger. Um, Vaid, I need you to lock down every... Oh, I'm going to hate this. Lock down every elevator from that top floor. <laughs> and make sure any stairwell coming from the Tholian's floor is locked and can't be opened and that you're notified when it does open. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, control security, difficulty of... Let's see, difficulty of one, please. And this is a scene change, so you do lose a momentum. There's the one. Uh, Ved, you have initiated lockdown protocol on the top floor. Uh, just in time, because Melania comes and rudely pushes you aside. She starts tapping uh, furiously at the console, pulling up schematics and whatnot. God 
damn it! She curses to herself. They're not even targeting folks. We are. We don't know, or at least I don't know what who did that. Uh, syndicate. It says a syndicate hit job all over it. And she ta whoever's on the 70th floor is probably dead. So So and she looks over to Miss Vid. Good news, bad news time. Uh good news, your mark is still alive. Um uh, bad news is he's probably not going to come out anytime soon. And if it was an Orion hit job, that means then that his shuttle is still not. Uh, that means that his escape plans are still completely in the open. And now, thanks to hotel security, she zooms out on the diagram, and you notice several uh, um, ah, several icons have changed, including uh, heavy uh, heavy shields uh, around several key locations. Uh, fire uh, fire guards, which are uh, physical, nah, <clears throat> physical, mm, ah, physical metal walls drop in place to prevent the spread of any fire or major strategic damage. <clears throat> she shakes her head. Well, good luck. Are there any other ways up? Uh, she <laughs> there is but you're not going to like it uh, it's probably not me going up <laughs> oh good uh, <laughs> has anyone yep, has anyone repelled before I'm going to go ahead and open my comm uh, comms that way they, they can hear it as well so down in the bar it's a scene of pandemonium as alarms are sounding. Uh, Jack is attempting to force his way through the crowd back to the stairway up. Uh, Soong and his uh, uh, bar and his uh, bars bar ah, his bartenders are attempting to hastily get everyone out while at the same time ensuring that all the tips are paid or that all the tabs are paid. It's red. Uh, Bashir, uh, things were just slightly were getting slightly uncomfortable as uh, Tremis just looks up as uh, he gives you a bit of a puppy dog eyes and a bit of a pouty lip if it weren't for his extremely muscular uh, upper body he might have a pathetic sad dog look about him <clears throat> well my dear I'm afraid that we really must cut this evening short see that alarm means I have to go to work and he oh, leans in to give you a yeah, sorry. And he leans in to give you a goodbye kiss. All right, I'll kiss him back. He uh, uh he takes a uh, he runs a finger over his lips. Oh my, those blue and green do make a lovely color. And then he sprints out of the bar. I'll meet up with uh, Deja. Well, meeting up with Deja might be tricky. Um, we'll deal with her momentarily. Uh, you get back to uh, Vaid. No, wait. Vaid's not here. Never mind. Vaid's is not there. That's why I was like... Yeah. <laughs> My fault. <laughs> I was looking forward to more yeah. witty banter, but that will come. Uh, yes. Deja, what are you doing at this time as both you and Jack have won your share of Dabos? Uh, but the alarm has gone off, uh, sounding the evacuation of the building. Well, how's the rest of the uh, how the rest of the patrons treating this? Are they like scrambling to get out, or are they Some... not caring and they just want to look at It seems to be a mixture of panic from individuals who may not frequent this location, and the regulars just shrug and go, "Here we go again." They toss a few uh, quidloons to the bartenders to pay up any tabs. And leave in an orderly fashion. So I'll just say to Jax, well, you're not going to go leave too, are you? What, it's too hot for you? Have to. 
got to get back to my got to get back to my boss mm. shame and here here this game was finally starting to get interesting yes oh well another night perhaps you have proven to be a competent player so while he and I are exchanging our goodbye pleasantries, I'd like to see if I could take advantage of anybody that just wants to go brush past me quickly to get out of there. Okay. Um, that just... Uh, let's see. You only have the one momentum, so you can't obviously force the advantage. But let's roll okay. 1d20 just to see what happens. 11. There are some people who are brushing past you to get out mostly at this stage it's mostly those from the dancing area or the uh, self or from the uh, private areas who seem to be taking a little longer to put clothes back on before they uh, leave well in that case I'm, I'll try to force the issue and just try to trip somebody <clears throat> okay uh, control security please uh, or daring whichever And you need to... Wow. <laughs> okay. So, good news is you trip someone. Bad news, they take you down with them. Uh, and an elderly gentleman does not react well to your... Um, ca uh, your um, poorly placed foot. Uh, he stumbles, reaches out for support. Sadly, that's you... Um, you're not able to support the weight of this, uh, let's call him an obese individual. So about 350 pounds of aged flesh pins you to the floor. And you're pretty sure you hear the snapping of a brittle bone on him, oh. not you. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Jack looks down, snorts, and begins to dash out, not really caring who's in his way. Well, in that case, I'm just gonna <laughs> pick myself off and uh, chase after him as best as I could. Okay. Uh, and went, went to shit. Uh, sorry, what was that second part? No, I said plan went to shit. I gotta go chase after uh, him. Yes. Uh, Bashir, you see this all go down, literally. Uh, what are you wishing to do? Do Klingon disruptors have stun? No. <laughs> no, didn't they think don't. So. Okay, I will fire at his feet to slow him down. <clears throat> okay. Uh, control security. And because this is a still a bit of a crowded bar, this is going to be a difficulty of three. And uh, I will spend threat to increase the difficulty to three and increase the complication range 17 to 20. Wait. We have one momentum, right? You do have one momentum, yes. Okay. This is going to suck. Yeah. Not for you, at least. Well, it sucks. Get that already. Okay. Well, the good news is, is that your shot does not hit anyone. Good. Uh, good. It good. vaporizes part of the floor, but it doesn't hit anyone. And Jack's keen senses go off, and he's heard a weapons fire go off. He turns around. Let's see if he sees you. Oh, he sees you. He sees you with a disruptor pistol pointed in his general direction. <clears throat> so, yeah. We're now going to have to enter combat. Or at least initiative turns. Just to see what happens. Let's see. I haven't cleared off the board from last time. There we go. So, Jack stares you down, Mr. Bash Mr. Bashir. I don't have a beef with you, Andorian, but...
but well, I didn't have a beef with you, Antorian, but I do now. And he rages. But it's your turn. So what do you wish to do? I heard him if I could use the disruptor. Uh... Oh, God. All right, you're coming up behind, correct? Deja? Well, um, I don't know. Am I still pinned? You are still pinned. It would require one of your... Con it would require a full action for you to get unpinned and... Okay. Mm -mm. Fair enough. Well, I'll draw my blades. Okay. All right, minor action to draw your blades. And... <laughs> Charge at him. All right. This is going to be fun. So... Oh, God. Make your attack roll. This will be a daring security. Oh... Yeah, I should have checked those, because that would have been a comp. That was a complication. Well, that's why he did what he did. Okay, so he needs to meet or beat two successes. Cool. Which he does easily. And now, that means he gets to do damage to you. Challenge dice. Let's see, he deals that much. Come on, roll, you silly thing. Well, good news, that's only four uh, stress points of damage to you. Uh, he doesn't seem to be putting all of his effort into the attack, even though... Even Though when it connects, it still your sh uh, your shoulder crunches ever so slightly. <clears throat> Back off, Andorian. And that was his turn, or that was your turn. Uh huh. Now it's his turn. Um. So he is going to try to attack you. You need to meet or beat two successes. Daring fitness again. Uh, daring security. Or fitness. Yeah, sorry, mm. daring security. Yeah, that's uh, nothing. Nothing for you, I'm afraid. It's a whole lot of nothing. No, no indeed. So, let's see. Yep. Yeah. Oh, he should only be rolling five instead of six. Good news for you. Uh, bad news is he has the he has the unarmed strike, or uh, the mean right hook, I should say. So. <laughs> hey, if Helsing can use it, then so can I. <clears throat> Fair enough. <laughs> Five on that. That would be five points of stress damage to you. And because it's unarmed, uh, he has knocked down. Which this isn't five immediately stunned. <laughs> yeah, it's so you could take yourself out with an injury, or you could choose to ignore the injury, but. You take five again and you die. End of story. All right, I'm gonna ignore the injury. Mm. Oh, oh, dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. Okay, so that's his turn. Uh, Deja. You are currently trapped under 350 pounds of human, but uh, if you want to give me threat, I will say that you can get 
out of there with only a miner. I would love to do so. Sure, I'll take that threat. <laughs> okay. So your miner is out. So what is your action going to do? <clears throat> well, yelling is an in well, speaking just generally is an incidental, right? So yeah, free and I, and I could, uh It's a free action, and I could see uh, I could see Bashir getting pummeled from where I am. Oh yes. Right, well. I'm assuming the crowd has dispersed around this. Yes, <laughs> most of them have. And is a uh, is our good Orion friend armed, or is he just being beaten right now? These are his arms. Yeah, he has. <laughs> he, has he is well armed. He does not well need a weapon. Armed. All right. Well, I want to uh, go catch myself in a uh, in a lie right here, and so I'm just gonna say, <laughs> I'm gonna go scream out and just say, "Stop it!" <laughs> He's mine. I never thought I'd I'd see you again, Jax. You blue bastard. <laughs> you gotta come all the way here just to ruin my fun too, huh? What's the matter? You're not you're not gonna allow me to play with my own toys. You see something I want, and then you're just gonna try to take him out. I already took out one of his. Jax is quite confused. Huh? You. Him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get you mixed up in this. I have a log and troubled past, and I have a log and troubled love life, and sometimes, you know, some of my old flames just don't necessarily like seeing me with somebody else. Isn't that right, blue boy? <laughs> I'll, I'll wipe the blood off of the blue blood off of my chin. <laughs> yes. I do get tired of your whoring around. <laughs> That's why I took care of one of the big guy's bodyguards thoroughly. <laughs> Well, that remains to be seen. You, you never were as good as you thought you were. I intend a droop. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> as my mate has my uh, actual action, I'd like to uh, close the distance here. Okay. <laughs> and uh, get right next to uh, get right next to Jax. Okay. With my uh, with my uh, pre prepared hypo spray. Uh, to uh, you know, get, knock him out of commission. I like to pat him on the back while injecting him. This isn't your. This isn't your fight, doll. The guy's mine. While I draw out my own disruptor <laughs> in one hand while uh, injecting him with the hypo spray with the other. Okay. Uh, roll me a daring plus security test, please. Difficulty of two. <laughs> okay, this needs to hit. <laughs> you have one momentum. Yeah, I'll spend I'll spend the one momentum for an extra die because I don't want anybody else to go down here. And that's three successes, so you get that one momentum right back. There is the telltale hiss as the hypo spray injects a concoction of tranquil of enough tranquilizers to take down a raging horse, a raging bull, actually. As he just... He looks like he's about to backhand uh, Bashir's head across the bar. Just as he's about to start swinging, he goes, Jack Sleepy. And he... Uh, each of you, please roll me Daring plus Security. Um, good lord, you need momentum. Uh, difficulty one. Each. So... I just knew it. <laughs> okay, uh, Deja succeeds. And Bashir? 
Bashir also succeeds. Oh, thank God. <clears throat> you both neatly step to opposite sides <laughs> as a six and a half foot tall, two and a half foot wide slab of green muscle falls, collapsing a collapsing a nearby table as it does so. It just so happens that the final or that the crash of him hitting the ground coincides precisely with the final beat in whatever song is currently playing. From Another the one bites the dust. <laughs> <laughs> from the rest of the bar has quieted down, but you see a are you ah you hear a single per individual clapping. You look over and it's Mr. Soong smiling. Ah, <sighs> Doctor? Give me a You look terrible. Do you have a med kit on you? <laughs> mm, left it in my room. I'm kidding. Okay. <laughs> Let's go regroup. <laughs> okay, so he is effectively out of the fight for now. He might come back. We'll see. Okay, so right now, Vaid is the only one that has any idea what's going on. What are you guys doing now? Um, Shran, let's head on up. All right. Yeah, as we're heading to, like, I, basically, as we're heading out of the bar, I basically will come like, ah, okay, set rep. <laughs> Half Head of you won't believe me. Apparently, explosions up at the top, but they're not the explosions we were thinking they could be. And what explosions at, we're thinking? <laughs> and at that moment, I push the button. You do push the button. Okay. The button. You push the button. Uh, the whatever you you felt before. Behind, uh, my, behind my back, where the train can't see me. Okay. <clears throat> uh, so whatever explosions. Uh, caused the initial f alarm in the first place are nothing compared to the uh, glass shattering structure shaking explosion that reverberates down the entire hotel room as the entire upper floor is vaporized uh, I'm not up there am I? No, no you're not <laughs> you're anywhere. Not. Okay. Okay. No you're nowhere near close know. to that The trunks is like there slack shot and it was like, Wow, your counterpart was not messing around if that's what that was. Well, he's me, so Well, so much for hoping that uh, he wouldn't be interfering. Yeah. yeah. Damn. Oh, we still gotta head up there, see if there's any new survivors. Alright, let's see if we can salvage this mess. Knowing me, him, knowing me, knowing him, knowing me, no, it's no me knowing you, knowing him, he would be up there to verify the kill. All right, let's, let's see if we can catch him in the act. Okay. And I close the flippy lever behind my back. Uh, so, let's just look quickly to see in... What does Vaid see from her private, from the office that is currently, you know, monitoring everything? Both of Milana's jaw just drops as the um, schematic of the uh, of the building turns red, and the upper floor is replaced with a layer of black. She looks at you. That was not planned. What? No explosives were planned. 
Something's not right. Apparently not. If you excuse me, I... She looks to you, Vaid. I think it best if you were to leave now. Yes, ma'am. And then she'll make her way out. As, and uh, go ahead. As you uh, close the door, you hear her calling up her agency. Uh, this is Agent. This is Agent Twelve Theta. Uh, the situation has gone black at my location, requesting a gracious extraction. And you close the door. gonna go ahead and um, say, uh, communicate with uh, the sh it's the Shran and Helsing, right? Yep, they're the ones currently they're going good. up. Where are y'all located? 45th floor moving up. Alright, I'll meet you. What happened? third party now um, was there any way for me to see any um, I guess flicker uh, or not flicker but like where the connection communicator could have been like what I, I can't figure out the right word for it the communication the, the communication the, medium yeah, yeah, between the explosives and a device or person. Was there any way for me to figure find that? Figure if you had access to like all the building sensor logs down to the most minute minutia or the minute details, possibly. However, given the nature of Orion uh, security and pri and uh, their paranoia towards privacy, yeah. Probably not. Well, um, can we pay with threat to say it was Data's computer system that was monitoring absolutely everything in the building? Hmm. I'm not there anymore, yeah. though. <laughs> but you were. That's what I was saying. I mean, you might have to get your way back in, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Uh -huh. uh, okay. So, uh, where? Uh, so I know where two, where the th uh, yeah, I know where Helsing and the Shran are going. Where is Bashir, uh, Deja, and Fayed going? Well, we were contacting everybody to find out where. That's what I said. I was ah. running out of the building, contacting everybody yep. so we could regroup. And then things exploded more. Mm hmm So, yeah. Uh, Commander, what are your orders? Still trying to regroup. Okay. Uh, we'll head up. I'd I'm... like to... Sorry. Go on. I'd, I'd like to, uh, you know perform a check on the commander and you know determine if he's actually well enough to continue this mission otherwise I'm probably gonna sure you know pull out the uh, you gotta <laughs> you gotta stay on the bench son insight not, medicine. Not good enough. insight medicine please uh, difficulty of one and if you have things like triage or internal medicine or biology those would work yeah. Do hand phasers count? No. <laughs> well, that's the one uh, success you need. Uh, the commander appears to have suffered several cracked ribs. Um, one of his uh, shoulders is... He seems to flinch ever so slightly while uh, moving it. Uh, let's call that his right. And it is unlikely he'll be walking without a limp for a few days unless he gets back into the Nighthawk sickbay. 
but mentally he his eyes appear to still be on mission. And ironically very relaxed for some reason. <laughs> Uh, great stress reliever. You may have had some things to drink. <laughs> Commander, I need to tell you that, honestly, in your condition, you don't look good. I don't really think you should continue. We have to finish mission. We have to get this Tholi, and I don't have a choice. I mean, I agree, but I mean, at this point in time, I mean, if you take another hit, honestly, it's it might be it. We're not exactly in the in. We're not exactly with the luxury of time here. You might as well I, trust the rest of us to complete it. I trust you. I just got to be there. We got to do this. We got to get the Tholian. I'll stay back. You got to keep promise. monitoring. You got to you got to pinky promise me. Otherwise, <laughs> I'm going to put you on the bench for good. All right, Doctor. I'll stay back. I'll beat my communicator again. Helsing, the Shan, where are you? 46th, 47th floor ish. You have the code for the elevator. Uh, yes, the Shran's got the codes. Yeah, I was like, we hacked the elevator, so yeah. That's what I was going for. All right, uh -huh. <clears throat> we're on our way. All right, see you there. Okay, so you're all going up, is that my understanding? Okay. You know, for the things that the GM had prepared for, actually blowing up the upper floor was not one that was, you know. Anyways, so we'll just go to the upper floor, just pretend it's a pile of rubble. Theater of the mind and all that. Uh, let's get some tokens going here. Just reconsolidating everyone. Okay, paste that. <clears throat> and then from the bar comes these two. As we're going up the elevator, we're listening to that Mass Effect soundtrack, waiting to get up there, uh, I'll ask her for a stim of some kind, just uh, if she has anything. Girl from Ipanema. Go. Uh, Muzak. Do, 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 Before y'all get up here, it's just the Shran and myself. Um, I will say that you and Thashran have about two or three minutes to survey everything before assistance comes up. All right. Maybe, let's say, um, five minutes. Start looking around see whatever we can find. Okay. So, um, what was, at one point, a very luxurious setup... Well, also, good news with the whole, you know, loss of containment, loss of the entire entire floor. You don't have to worry about such petty concerns such as a different environment or bodyguards. Uh, you, flyers? Uh, there are flyers. Uh, there, you see three of those. Well, you just see one right now. Uh, hovering in a circle. Uh, its weapons appear powered, but they're not actually doing anything at the moment. Uh, insight security, please, just to ps, investigate what is around. Uh, can I assist? Yes, you may. And uh, you can do insight engineering, and if you have anything like structural dy uh, material sciences or uh, structural physics, stuff like that would be good. So, anything along the lines of demolitions, that. Okay. Two successes. Um, cool. So you get one momentum out of that. <clears throat> so, well, your mirror counterpart was right, Mr. Helsing. Uh, he was very good at his job. Uh, the exp um, you find some residue of the explosive. Uh, you scan it with your tricorder. And he was able to uh, create a... 
what little residue you find matches something very similar to uh, small pockets uh, what might be left behind after um, yeah a uh, dual chemical explosion so two typically inert chemicals that would not by chance sound off on the alarms when a third chemical is mixed into the group it becomes rather explosive um, sad thing is I know exactly how we did it mm-hmm. crap all right and the devastation up here is pretty much totaled uh, with the uh, one degree of success you're able to find the remains of the tholian he is currently crushed under a rather sturdy looking gazebo because I think it's funny that the gazebo finally killed someone in Star Trek <laughs> Uh, there are the remains of three other humanoids. Uh, they are wearing, well, they were wearing uh, EVA suits to protect them from the Tholian's environment. Such things weren't enough to protect them from several hundred pounds of falling rubble, rock, glass, statues, and various other electronic systems. And it's about this time that the Turbo lift doors open again, and instead of disgorging, you know, things that would make sense, such as hotel security staff, emergency response teams, you know, that sort of thing, instead come out three uh, Starfleet officers. Um, one is clear. Uh, Deja is clearly dressed to seduce. Vaid is clearly dressed to um, uh, intimidate, and Bashir is clearly dressed in medical uh, clearly dressed for the hospital looks like you've been hit by a freight train and he lost dressed in bandages yeah he's no not yet <laughs> not yet there's a thankfully uh there's just blue blood all over the uh my snazzy maquis oh, looking uniform was you caught in the explosion sir somewhat sit rep commander what's going on Mirror me. Mirror you? The. Do you happen to remember the mirror universe when the, um, Sangral, the captain, and Fershan were kidnapped? And Fershan was. No offense, was beaten to a bloody pulp. And then the captain was almost beaten to a bloody pulp by a mirror you? That mirror me was out here with a mission to kill Fox. When Thrashan and I were hunting down the the holographic equipment, I think he set it up where he would find me. He said he had a a way to know anytime there was somebody from an alternate universe. I guess there's multiple mirrors. He would he was informed, so he knew when I was on the planet. Yeah. Are you sure that was the right you? Because if memory serves, the the ones we just met, we I couldn't find much information because when we met Captain Chalmers, I tried to search out our positions and it was classified. He um, worked for a director, Singral. Because that version of Singral was killed by the all version of me. Not necessarily. <laughs> it's the how that worked, or how the previous things worked, is that that you guys could have heralded from any number of different mirror universes. What I am, what this is now is, quote unquote, canon mirror universe. So, yeah, I'm just saying the yeah. canon of the canon mirror universe that was that's the one we just went to. Yeah, that's right. Um, okay. I forgot to mention what you found in those records. Uh, basically, the USS the crew of the Nighthawk crew in the mirror uni- in the canon mirror universe is like a A team, except your mercs for hire with no morals and a lot more firepower. Yeah. 
and what's the difference? <laughs> right? Uh, yeah, that's in my Apparently, they don't have a conscience, and we do. He set up an explosion around this whole seventh floor to go off. I thought I had the the detonator. He tossed me the detonator. I thought I had it, but apparently he didn't trust me to take the Thornlean out. I thought I had a deal with him where I'd take him into intelligence and he wouldn't see the light of day for ever. So wait, does that make Sir Stran our Murdoch? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that just hit me. <laughs> uh, uh, so, uh, you are standing in a pile of rubble. Uh, you can definitely see the corpse of the Tholian. What do you wish to do? Can we verify this? Is he him? dead? Yeah. That would be an insight medicine check from our good doctor, please. Um, this is going to be a difficulty of... Let's see. Difficulty of two. And exobiology would be a good uh, focus here. Yeah. Proper medical focuses would be nice. Yeah. If only but, one would have them. That's not this character, <laughs> apparently. Apparently not. <laughs> I can assist. I have quite a few medical focuses. Sure. Feel free to assist. <laughs> All right. Yeah, feel free to assist while I try to get rid of this complication with our momentum. Actually, you get rid of complications now by giving me threat. Right. Yep. yep, so All two right, threats. Right, right, right. <laughs> so we get to keep the momentum. Yeah. So are you giving me threat for the momentum? Uh, well, you can't assist anyways, uh, Bashir, so... Oh, yeah, he got, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the guy he got, got you. I was delayed. Uh, I shall give you threat, because okay. I'm tired of things going wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to have rolled a number of them this this evening, and I'm okay with this. I have. Yeah, tonight's not my night. It's very difficult to tell what the status of the Tholian is. Um, they don't breathe, you know, tip typically. Uh, however, several fluids that are leaking out of its body have begun to crystallize due to the room temperature of uh, 28 degree, uh, 24 degrees Celsius. It's obviously too cold for them. The body is beginning to crystal, uh, is beginning to crystallize completely, uh, be turning brittle and slowly being ground under the weight of the uh, structure. It, he's it's probably dead <laughs> but you know you don't have the medical training to tell that for sure clearly not can you <laughs> take a sample for study later have you met me yeah he has pieces of every alien he's met and he's met survived or killed <laughs> it was the explosion I must have wrung my head on something uh yeah, I'll do my normal battle cry. Lieutenant, samples! <laughs> <laughs> On it! Uh, well, Commander, it seems like our target has at least bitten the dust. Well, what are your orders? Is there anything we can do to salvage, the, salvage this mission? Well, the you... Shrand, can you get into his computer system? Mm -hmm. Well, there's no working terminal at the moment, but Mr. Thetran could certainly try. Uh, so let's give it a shot. Uh, this is going to be a difficulty for uh, control oh. plus engineering or daring plus engineering. Uh, just due to the alien nature of Tholian, Tholian networks, the fact that there's no terminal, um, and the fact that there's very little power actually up here anymore, so... Yeah. Uh, that's uh, going to be very difficult. Very uh, difficult indeed. Very difficult. You, I believe you still have your determination and you have two momentum. Also, uh, but you can't you can't mix them, right? Uh, yes. You, well, you can spend your determination to get a third dice that automatically rolls a one. And then you can right. buy a fourth okay. dice for two momentum. Okay. Okay, I'm just trying to think what value I want to... Yes. Uh, you can always challenge a value if you have one that 
you feel you've come up against in, in this particular mission. And... All right, well, since we're against the clock, then knowledge is you value uh, better to be fast than, than perfect. All right, okay, fast than perfect, good. In which case, uh, all right, so... do a daring engineering instead, because I think that'll be funnier. Yep, all right, so I use the two momentum. So I'll roll three dice and then treat one as a one. Yeah. <clears throat> well, that's the... Uh, so you have four successes. So that's yep. the, all the successes you need and a complication. So, um, Mr. Thashran, you, are att you attempt to get some form of jury-rigged access protocol with your engineering tricorder not you're not getting a heck of a lot uh, and you've realized you realize where the problem is so you pull out your uh, phaser or disruptor and do a little bit of spot welding on some of the cables you do a little on the job training and you are able to download the entire con the entire contents of uh, the of Falks's day of Ah, Falks's data terminal. It's encrypted, so you'll have to deal with it back on ship, but at least you have it. All right, Commander, got it. Got his entire ter computer terminal. All right, now let's make a hasty retreat. And it's about this time. You guys turn... Because you had a complication, and I'm not one to turn around a complication. Uh, you turn around and make your way back to the turbolift doors as it opens, and three... Uh, let's say four... EVA wearing individuals step out. Uh, they see five ne'er do wells up here, and they immediately pull their rifles. We should have been in the very actually bad outfits. <laughs> You're right. Stand down. You are all under arrest for acts of terrorism. Terrorism for trying to help somebody? Came up here to see if there was anybody hurt. Got, apparently we got here too late. Come with us. Now. And their, their rifles begin emitting a scary, high-pitched whine. What type of rifles are they, by chance? Oh, they are disruptor rifles. The type that will hurt. Yes, the type that will definitely hurt a lot. All right, we surrender. Good. Come with us. And they begin to drop your weapons. All right, toss the disruptor pistol and my blades down. One of them signals to the flyer overhead. It comes in to land, and you guys are brought on board. And considering the story has now just taken a very interesting turn, I think it's a good place to call it for the night. Yeah. Cause... Undercover Starfleet officers getting arrested. Yes, Hell yeah. Mm. Okay. <laughs> uh, we are good. At, we are intelligent. We are good at our jobs. Yes. Yes, arrested you are. Arrested by who? Well, I look forward uh, to seeing where this goes. Uh, anyways, folks, thank you all for listening. Thank you all pl for playing. And we will be back next week to see what happens next. See you then. Bye bye. <laughs>